Welcome to Kali Biology. Today for Biology 112, we're going to review the brain, the structures of the human brain. We look first at the external surface of the brain, very characteristic wrinkles of the brain, the grooves, the shallow grooves that run across the surface of the cerebral cortex are referred to as the sulci. Sulci. The high spots, we sometimes call those the convolutions or the puffy pillowy parts, those are what we refer to as the gyri. So on the surface of the brain, you have the shallow grooves, which are the sulci, and the puffy parts, which are the gyri. When we look at the external brain, at the back of the brain, we have the cerebellum and a little bit of the brainstem and spinal cord. This model is color-coordinated, associated with the lobes of the brain. This is the front of the brain, so the peach color is the frontal lobe. Top of the brain is what we refer to as the parietal lobe very back of the brain is the occipital lobe, and the yellow side of the brain is the temporal lobe. If we look to the inside of this brain, okay, this is a sagittal, mid-sagittal cross-section, we see this very distinctive amount of connective tissue. This is called the corpus callosum. It's technically what holds the left and right hemisphere together, arching over corpus callosum. This structure is the cut surface of the cerebellum associated with muscle coordination. That's at the back posterior base of the brain. This is the brain stem, and that first almond-shaped big lump on the brain stem is what we refer to as the pons. The next portion of the brain stem is what we refer to as the medulla oblongata. And as soon as you're past the cerebellum, as soon as you're past the very last bit of that brain, anything that's sticking out beyond that is the spinal cord. At that point in time, you're out of the head, you're into the cervical vertebra. So that is the spinal cord. Note that the brain stem is continuous with the spinal cord. We also need to identify some structures in the diencephalon, that's the middle of the brain, right where that brown spot is, right in the center, that's the thalamus. That's the thalamus. The thalamus comes forwards and almost looks like the beak of a bird, it pinches forwards in a triangular shape. This area of the brain is referred to as the hypothalamus. So the thalamus is that center where the brown spot is, and the hypothalamus is the, the triangle coming forwards to a point. If we look for the pineal gland, the pineal gland is located right at this aspect, this little last bit of pink. If you follow the track between the cerebrum and the cerebellum, we kind of trace that back and we bump right into the pineal gland. There is your human brain.